Okay, guys, this is um, Prophetic Seer from propheticseer.com, letting you guys know some of the news that's breaking uh, right above the United States and B.C., British Columbia. Massive firestorms are, are raging all across the, the west part of Canada. There's health advisories. Um, what is going on? The Bible speaks about the intense heat that would end up drying up the vegetations, causing massive fires. This is also predictions that are part of the fulfillment of the end time prophecies of Revelation. Uh, keep up on my website. This is just a visual here so you guys can see. There is a report that is after this commentary that you guys can kind of hear. It, the, the actual video footage and the audio is a little bit blurred, so pay attention really close to what they're saying. I uh, just wanted you guys to be up to date on what's happening with me. I'm not making as many news video coverage and only the real important issues I think for the day I'll try to cover. Right now my website is under undergoing a metamorphosis. You're going to see a, a website that is so professional it'll blow you guys away. We're, we're going to try to do something similar to what Alex Jones is doing on his website. Um, we're going to really reach out to as many people as we can on a, on a real spiritual level as well as letting them know the prophetic end times events that are unfolding around us in the news to show them the connection and that's kind of the thrust of what propheticseer.com is going to be all about and it's also going to be in pre preparations getting you guys ready getting you guys the best prices on things that can help prepare you giving you knowledge and information through forums and, and networking and connections um, there's going to be so much that's going to be coming down the pike I want you guys to stay tuned now the rest of this video I'm just going to let you listen to and then at the end, you'll see another uh, news footage coverage where you can actually try to hear what they're saying about what's happening. But this is also important information. 71% of B.C. in danger. Can you believe that? 71% of British Columbia is in danger of these wildfires, and they're bracing for more. I believe California will also be in the same path, as well as the other parts of the country that are just totally and completely being consumed with heat from the sun. There's, there's anomalies that are taking place in the sun right now. It's drying up. The heat indexes, the UV index rate, rating is high through the roof. What is going on? The Bible speaks about this, that there will be signs in the suns and then the heavens. So we're, this is where we're at. There's no denying it. Keep in touch with me. God bless you. Caribou Central Interior. 275 wildfires are burning all over BC, with nearly half of the province under an extreme fire risk. 736 homes have been evacuated, another 1,133 are on evacuation alert, the vast majority of them in the Caribou. Bad weather could force the nearly 2,000 firefighters to pull back, leaving forests and property even more vulnerable. We've had this long period of, of drying fuels of hot, dry weather, and the forests are tinder dry. And now there's a cold front moving through, so a frontal passage brings with it the chance of thunderstorms and significant winds. So there's a real risk right now over the next, the next day or so, day or two, to firefighters and to communities. We really could be facing uh, uh, the type of circumstances we've never seen in this province before. So at this point, uh, out of an abundance of caution, please stay out of our forest. Now is not the time to be traveling in the backcountry. If the fire risk increases in the next day or so, the minister says that he'll issue a total backcountry ban prohibiting camping, hiking, and other recreational activities in the Caribbean. The worry in Minnesota there could have been certainly worse places to be trapped. Bellacoola is, is a beautiful spot to be, and fortunately we're safe. But yes, the prayer could be cut off for uh, for a number of days. Um, uh, other than freight trucks getting in Tuesday morning, uh, we haven't had any vehicle traffic uh, out of here since, uh, since uh, Sunday night. So it's been a while, and, and people are, are managing, but uh, uh, they're being their their patience is being tried. Mr. Bell, thank you for your time. Uh, pleasure to be on, Jacqueline. A little bit further north than Kamloops today, actually Prince George, which is the real center of the fires in the province right now. Okay, so uh, new evacuations. 71% of BC is at high risk for forest fires is a figure that I've seen. Is that correct? 
Uh, it is very problematic in the last 24 hours. It was a real test of our resources to see if we were able to manage what was a combination of extremely dry conditions in our force. We haven't had rain virtually for 60 days, and that was coming out of a winter with almost no snowfall. A series of lightning strikes about three or four weeks ago that created a significant number of fires, and then over the last 24 hours, we've had extreme wind conditions. So very challenging for us. Uh, the good news is, with the exception of the Binta Lake fire, which is one of the larger fires that we have in the province, most uh, have managed their way through the last 24 hours, and we've been able to put our teams and crews back to work in the force. But the real concern is these high winds, right? Many, I think including yourself, are saying this could create perfect firestorm conditions? Well, absolutely. I mean, you know, when you combine these very large fires, uh, like we have the Pelican Complex, the Meldrum Complex, these are fires that are in the neighborhood of 25,000 hectares, you combine that with extreme wind conditions and you have very dangerous circumstances. The cold front has largely passed through now. We're anticipating today that there will continue to be challenging circumstances, but I think the good news is we really made it through uh, what was the most challenging period of time, the last uh, 24 hours in particular and over the next 24 hours, uh, hopefully we will get a bit better handle on the circumstances. So are, are you, uh, you're hoping that the worst it has passed, but I mean, it could get worse, right? I mean, it's really a great unknown. Uh, I, you know, I would say at this point, Jacqueline, that uh, we, we are through the most challenging time. That isn't to say that uh, we can't have some lightning starts and, and further challenges. We have very, very large fire complexes. The one that I'm most worried about right now is near the community of Burns Lake, British Columbia. Just to give you a bit of a flavor for that, that grew from about 9,000 hectares yesterday to about...